Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the life path forecast for June 2023. The life path forecasts are different from the personal month forecast, so make sure that you check the calculations to make sure you've got the right ones before you listen. Now, this of course is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading where I'll take a deeper dive into your own personal numerology, uh, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. I'd love to work with you. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at each individual life path number for June, 2023. Life path number two. So I pulled an animal spirit message for you all and you've got rabbit energy. This is beautiful. And so, and this really actually ties in beautifully with the, the energy that you all are working with this month, which is six energy. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. But with rabbit energy, there is sort of this, um, it sort of brings the energy back to the home, sort of family, um, reproduction. Um, this could be a time when if you're trying to get pregnant, you may get pregnant or find out you're pregnant or having a baby, or this could be a time to have a baby or adoption. This could also be a period of time where you see sort of pets come into the focus. Um, there's definitely something here about, uh, family, family environment, support networks, um, Perspective also is coming in. And so if you think about the rabbit energy, they're, they're sort of like hypervigilant in a way. Um, they're very aware of their surroundings. And so there may be something here about um, sort of gaining a new perspective or being aware of your surroundings, but also gaining a bigger perspective, which is actually very much aligned with two energy. Uh, which is your energy. So again, sort of becoming the observer, seeing things from a bigger perspective and seeing how sort of your actions or your reactions could be affecting your greater family or greater community or something along those lines. And does a shift in perspective sort of change uh, that dynamic? So uh, again, I would say with rabbit energy coming in, don't be too impulsive to, uh, again, be reactive or to make some kind of um, impulsive decision about something when it comes to relationships or family, uh, or again, your close-knit community. Because with when rabbit shows up, um, you know, these are very like nurturing animals. These are very like uh, sensitive, very calm well, I don't want to say calm, but they're very like, um, very, uh, sort of softer energy. Right. Um, but they are very hyper vigilant and they have a, uh, very quick reaction, uh, time. And so, um, because of course they're hyper vigilant because they are prey. <laughs> and so, my point being, there may be some things that come up this month that sort of trigger your fear. And really, I'm talking about your irrational fear. Um, and so you may need to sort of work through that, right? You may need to deconstruct that irrational fear, especially if it's holding you back, especially if it's creating some kind of self-imposed barrier for you. Um, just be really aware of that if sort of something presents itself to you and you immediately go into sort of um, react. Uh, reactivity, right? And sort of um, those irrational fears come to the surface. Uh, before you allow those irrational fears to dictate your choices or your decisions, right? Um, just deconstruct them. Take a, take a moment to pause if you can and deconstruct those irrational fears. Why are they showing up? Or why do you feel like they're showing up? What are they trying to point you towards? What is it, you know, what would be the worst case scenario if something did happen? Um, and how would you handle that, right? It's like when we can give the, the ego tools to feel safe um, in a sort of hypothetical situation, then it calms those irrational fears and we're able to sort of move through them a little bit easier. So it just sort of helps to regulate the nervous system, especially when it's irrational fears. Now, obviously, if it's a rational situation um, and it's a true fear, that's a different story, right? I think that goes without saying. Um 
this is also a time for with rabbit energy sort of reaping uh, what you've sown. So this can be a time where you can see things coming in for you now that you've really been tending to and nurturing and working towards. And so if that's the case, then don't shy away from it. Make sure that you sort of explore it and um, receive it, right? Allow yourself to um, receive those accolades or those rewards. Uh, there's also something here about patience. So again, we talk about rabbit energy being more reactive and impulsive. So there's definitely something here about you may see that you're being called to be more patient this month. So definitely flex that muscle as much as possible. Okay. For the month of June, you all are working with six energy. And so you may see that people need you more this month, that people are more sort of leaning on you or asking for advice or asking for resources or help in a situation, right? This could be uh, because it's six energy people that are in your home, people that are close to you, um, who hold, you know, who are close to your heart type thing. So family, close friends, close knit community. So you may see people sort of, again, just need your reassurance or your, again, your support uh, more so this month. And so it's up to you to decide, are you capable of showing up in the way that they need you to show up? If you are, great. This is a great month to, to be able to do that. It's a very supported energy. If you're not, though, if you're not capable of doing that body, mind, spirit, right, or you don't have the resources to be able to assist it, don't overcommit and don't burden yourself with things that you cannot provide, right? Don't commit yourself to things that you cannot provide um, because you're not doing anybody any service by doing that, right? And so just make sure that you don't sort of overextend yourself and put yourself in a situation that you're going to regret or resent later on. Right. And so this really does call for you to also be very self-aware and recognize, do I, am I at capacity? Do I have the capacity to be able to do this for this person? Or am I at capacity where I cannot at this point in time? And both are okay. Right. So this is very much a very nurturing energy. It can sort of, again, we can find people kind of coming in uh, and needing our assistance more. This is also kind of um, calling you to sort of take a closer look at where it is that you may need nurturing or assistance at this time. And how can you reach out for that, right? This is a great month for getting the help that you may need when it comes to holistic health. So body, mind, spirit, a uh, great month to, to see a therapist or a healer or a reader or whatever calls to you, right? Um, the other thing is you could see some shifts in your finances this month. Again, we talked about with rabbit energy, sort of reaping what you've sown. With six energy, it can bring the focus to finances around the home. And so you or a partner may see an influx or rewards coming in. So an influx in your <clears throat> your money, your resources, your status, uh, that sort of thing. Or you might see... <clears throat> You may buy or sell a home or um, the value of your home may go up or something like that. And then you decide to sell or something like that. Or um, you may make some investments and then see those investments sort of um, um, have a, re a great return of investment at this point in time. That's very, very possible with six energy. Again, pets, children come into the forefront, people moving in, people moving out, pets moving in, pets moving out type thing is possible under six energy. So you could just see things kind of transpire or, um, you know, there'd just be a lot more happening around the home. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I would say about six energy is it's very good about bringing truth to light. So if there's any sort of situation or anything that... Um, any kind of conversation that needs to be discussed or dealt with, and you've been avoiding it, this energy will bring it to the surface and sort of not leave until it's dealt with. So six energy is the vibration of love, of harmony, of union. And so anything that sort of creates disharmony or, you know, imbalance, um, will be brought to the forefront to be dealt with so that it can be healed or moved through or transmuted, right? And so that it's not holding everybody back. 
So you could see those things come to the surface. So if now, if there's anything that you've been kind of putting under, pushing under the rug, haven't been completely honest about, this is a great time to just sort of bring it up and deal with it, right? And move through it. Um, it will save you a lot of grief in the long run. So I hope it is a beautiful month for you all. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.